Welcome back to another episode of Mushin' to Muscle. I'm with my buddy RV here, who's helping me out during this journey, as you guys already know. And today, he's gonna help me understand protein powder. Do I really need it for my workout? Do I need it for weight loss? Is it beneficial? Bro, I mean, there's so many on the show. What do I do with the protein powder? Like, I mean, I know for a fact, if you're using MyFitnessPal and you create a shake or whatever you're using it, it's adding calories and I don't want to add any more calories, but I mean, is it something that I need to lose the weight or am I adding more and making it harder to lose the weight? So that's a good question. So most people when they start working out, the first thing they think is I need a supplement. I need protein, right? Okay. And you got people that are going on diets that are cutting carbs and stuff like that. Right. Right. So you got to look at your macro. So those are basically macronutrients. So your fats, your carbs, and your proteins. Okay. Now, protein is one of those things that are used to actually recover muscle, okay? So after you've thrashed in a workout, et cetera, et cetera, you use it for recovery. Now, but you also gotta understand that if you start adding more into your system, your body has to process more. Okay. And essentially, if you get too much of it, your body's just gonna store it. So, what I would recommend would be, if you really, really have a bad diet where you're not eating enough, then yes, of course, it is something that you should include, right? Okay. You also got to take into consideration how much sugars are in it, what kind of fats are in it, what other products are in it. Because the thing with protein powder is it's not natural for humans to ingest protein in a powder form because you have all these different additives into it, right? So you got to, once again, like, like we mentioned in earlier episodes, find out what you're allergic to and then see if it's good enough. And like most things, ask a physician, see if you actually need it, okay? Okay. I recommend looking at your sources from actual foods. That way you actually know what's in it. So if you want more protein, look at something like lean fish, chicken breast, quinoa, something actually natural and healthy instead of going into the protein powder unless you really need to. But now, for example, let's just say you're like me, we're overweight, and like I said, I discovered that I'm pre-diabetic. Is the protein powder a good solution for me or anybody like me? So for a person like you, I personally would say no. Okay. I'd say it would be better that you find your foods and ingest it that way, right? Okay. So spread your meals out, do that instead of actually having protein powder. Because you also get a little protein powder will have a lot of sugar into it. Oh, okay. So that's something you don't want. And protein powder, in all honesty, tastes really bad. So you're going to have to mix it with something to make it taste better. So essentially that's probably going to be something with sugar in it too. So, no. So again, I'm pre-diabetic and he's talking a lot about sugar here. and. I need to stay away from as much unnatural sugar possible, right? Unrefined sugar, I should say, right? Pretty much. Right, and that's ref refined sugar going in there and 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 just not being healthy for us. So, yeah. if you're at home, you're thinking about protein powder, try to get your protein elsewhere. The protein powder is not the best source. It's not natural. Find natural solutions. That's another episode of Mush to Muscle, everybody. I hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned for more episodes. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And don't forget to subscribe. Oh, and do me a huge favor. Repost on your Facebook so everybody else can see it. Thanks, everybody. See you next time.